All right, guys. So I get asked all the time. I don't like really filming these kind of videos, but I get asked, what calls do I use hunting turkeys? So as you can see right here, we got my turkey vest out here. Okay. So let's just dive into it. I'll show you what I, what I use, what I like, why I like it, and uh, go from there. All right, first up, I'm just going to say it right off the bat, I ain't no freaking professional caller, okay? I can call good enough to kill turkeys. So if, you, if I sound bad, hey, I don't really care because the turkeys like it, and that's all I care about. But going forward, first thing we'll look at is I always have a box call, unless it's downpouring. This is the box that I have. Uh, she's beautiful. It's a David Halloran, as you can see right there. I got on the bottom, hammer time. Because when we need a when we need a gobble and we're hunting public land or anything like that or it's real windy, or you guys know how to use a box call when to use a box call, I roll with this. Um, I just have a Primos box call holder. I've been using this one for like six years, five years. I don't even know. I just swapped out uh, box calls. This is my first full spring with this box call. I really like it. Um, it's ebony over poplar. It's got a really nice. Uh, really nice paddle on it it's it runs great that's how it looks i just have the old blue chalk on there man it just sounds good it's got a different sound oh i got i'm sure having church up here they're all looking now they're like that was a turkey but it's got just a really good sound to it it's different there's i when i asked dave what call would he recommend for public land in highly pressured areas? Uh, this is one because it just has a different tone to it. It sounds really good. And I can say there's been a lot of times, actually, this call is what got uh, Hawk's last bird we killed the other day. This got him to hammer. It was really windy. We were up on a hill. I hit this. He hammered. I hit it again. They were already working their way to us. So the guys... By the time you see this, you've already saw that hunt, so you know what happened. But that is my box call. I only have one. Um, I'm not a huge box call guy, but I will say this. Every turkey hunter should have a good box call in their vest because when it's windy or something like that, it just sounds really good. And for me, I don't like sounding like other people. It's why I have that call right there. Now, talking slates, I run two slates. It's going to be a trend here, but it is what it is. We have, I've killed three birds with this one over the last two years. This is the David Halloran Top Shelf Ceramic. Absolute gorgeous piece. And then you can see there he always signs it. And uh, the cool part about Halloran, uh, David Halloran Turkey Calls, is he's literally 30 minutes from my house. So he's very close. Uh, actually, Hawk has worked on the same couple jobs at his old job with David Halloran, so that's pretty cool too. And we've hunted with people that hunt with him. So, like, he's he's a local guy, and he just makes outstanding turkey calls. The other one is right here. It's the Halloran hen. This is actually the 25 years in the making. Okay, so this one he made for his 25th anniversary. And you can see it right there. That's the back side of it. Just a beautiful call. Uh, reading right off his website. This one is a thermal treated poplar over cedar laminate pot, features a crystal calling surface over glass soundboard. And I can tell you right now, uh, they, when you order one, you get two strikers. I actually, I have a bunch of these and I keep them all in here. You have this one, what's the Eep, Eepy Wood, IPE, <laughs> whatever you want to say. And then you have the other. So the Halloran Hen we'll start with. As you can tell, I got it scratched just right. You can get real soft on this call. And I am, keep in mind, the mic is right here. I am calling quiet right now. So you can call real quiet. Uh, called with this call quite a bit this year. Uh, and then if you have to, you can also strike them. So you can get on them too with that call. 
And uh, it sounds great with both strikers you get. So I, I like to change it up. If one's not working, I just go to the other. Now, the other slate, this one I killed two with last year. I uh, killed one this year with it. And I like this. If you're in if you're in a pressured area, this Halloran hen sounds a lot different than most pot calls just by its design. But these ceramic slates, I freaking love them. And you can run them in the rain. It's I don't like getting these calls wet, but this one I have run in the rain, and I actually think it made it look a little bit cooler. But just a little bit of sandpaper on it, and you get really good sound. This is quiet. So you can you can get on them too if you want to. So you can get quiet, you can get loud, you can get in the middle, you can you can get fighting purrs. I really like ceramic. Those are the two slates I run. Um, I had uh, like seven people ask me why I don't like telling people what I use turkey hunting, and uh, the main thing is. The calls I get, I usually like them because other people don't have them. I don't want to sound like everyone else. I want to sound different. I mean, I do have a different cadence. I do have a different rhythm. I call differently, so that does help. But I just like having different pitch, volume, all that stuff. I just don't want to be the cookie cutter caller. Because the problem with YouTube, it's not really a problem, but a lot of guys watch YouTube videos and they watch the same couple ones and they sound exactly the same. And if they're hunting the same piece of public as me, say they sound the same and they've made mistakes or I sound the same and I made mistakes, that hurts them because it's going to sound the same. And I do believe turkeys kind of learn how you call. I think they, I, I do believe they lose, they, I don't think they remember it from year to year, but I believe if you stay on them, it makes them really hard to, to pull that gobble out. That's why I do like aluminum. And that's right, aluminum or aluminum pot calls. I do like those, I do switch to those, but what I usually do is I save my box call till late season, like now, and I save one of my pots and I run the other one or vice versa. I don't like calling with everything I have, every hunt. Usually it, I just, I'm very picky. Now, box, or pop, mouth calls, which is my favorite, uh, right there, Jeff Friedrich's Champion's Choice Turkey Calls. I've had this for, you can tell, it's been a while. Uh, I have different calls in here. I have the one, you can tell I use this one all the time. It's my go-to. Um, I'll just get them all out now. Because we have... The Cluck, there's two brands in here. Uh, I didn't go with Cartel Custom Calls this year, but we have Cluck, the Freedom Package. Um, I really like those. I did not kill a bird with them this year, but I did work a couple. Um, they're great calls, different cuts. We can go over that in another video. This is the call I pretty much ran all spring. Killed two birds with it. Uh, but the, these are all... This one's cool. It's an elk call, but he sent me to play with it, and I actually did work a couple birds with this. I can. It's a pretty sweet call, but these calls are very different. Okay, so these are. I'll just focus on the one that I predominantly use this year because it seemed like this is the one that the turkeys wanted to hear. Now, I'm gonna have to move up. So this call is different. Okay. I'm not breaking down exactly everything in this, but there is five reads. There's five reads on this call. You can see the cut right there. So it's slightly different than what you're used to seeing. But what you can't see here is there's five reads and they're actually stepped back. So what I like about this call is you have three different spots you can put your tongue on and you can make it sound different. You can have different pitch and volume. Um, it's really sweet and you can get really raspy with this or you can key key with it. You can pretty much do whatever you need to do, but I really like this call just because of the simple fact that you can have so many different, uh, 
so many different sound and calls out of one call. This is pretty much the one I, I roll with. This is my baby. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, took this out, called a little bit with it. Uh, the one thing there, I will say, you get a real soft tone on these first thing in the morning because they stick, but it sounds really good for tree talking. But this is calling on it. So you can get really quiet on this if you need to. Now yesterday, was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago when Hawk killed his bird, uh, I was scratching and then, keep in mind this, once again, this mic's right here, it's gonna amplify this. But I was scratching and calling this quiet, just, just quiet little yelps. So that is one thing I gotta really say, learn to control your volume. Late season, scratch more, call less, and don't be sitting there just freaking screaming at them. I mean, it can get them to gobble, but most of the time they've heard that a hundred times. It just depends what you hunt. We hunt a lot of places a lot of people can hunt, so we don't do that. We just call quiet. But if early season and you want to get on them, this call is really awesome because you can, you can gobbler yelp at them good. You can cluck, you can cut, you can purr, you can whine, you can do anything you want. Whatever you want to do, you can do it on it. Like I say, I am not, by no means, a competition caller. Okay, the only competition I care about is me and that gobbler. And if he thinks I'm speaking turkey, hey, you betcha, I'm happy. But those are my mouth calls. And honestly, that's all I use. I've used the same brands for a long time. I used to get oh, 10 to 15 different mouth calls uh, I used to never even use slates. I never used box calls. I just hunted mouth calls for the longest time. I've killed birds without any calls, just, just using my mouth and calling them. I've killed birds, you know, it's, in my opinion, uh, calling turkeys isn't about sounding absolutely amazing. It's about knowing when to shut up. That is the main thing. I think too many people get too call happy. They want to hear them gobble. They want to hear all of this. And they really forget that the hen goes to the time of nature. That's just how it is. So if that hen keeps calling and answering him gobbling, you have to think. You're telling them that you're interested and you're coming. That's not what you want. Just make them, you want to shut up and let them come find you. I mean, there is some birds you just got to stay on them and they just come in. But you'll never know that until you start calling. you got to learn to read birds. But I just, I get a ton of people asking me, I don't know why it matters uh, what brands I use because we never post anything about it and I don't really like to, but that's what I use. Moose uses different calls. Hawk uses different calls, uh, but that's what I use. I like, I do like cartel custom mouth calls, but a lot more people are using them, especially around me. I love Jeff Friedrich's Champion's Choice. That's my favorite mouth calls of all time. I love them. They're expensive, but you get so much tonal range. You get so much you can do on just one. I've used, I didn't even use really any other mouth call this year. I used that one. I used the clock three times in Kentucky and it did fire some birds up and I did work birds with it. Almost killed one. Um, but they make awesome calls too and they're local. Great guy. But David Halloran, if I'm using a friction call, whether it be a slate or a box, I use David Halloran. Um, and mouth calls, it could be anything. I, I usually stick with Cluck, Cartel, Jeff Friedrich's Champion's Choice. It's what I use. Um, I'm curious, what do you guys use in the comments below? Are you like me and you don't really like people knowing what you use and you try to be different? Um, let me know in the comments. I will say this. I strongly believe... 
Uh, it doesn't really matter what brand you like. If you have confidence in it, that's all that matters. doesn't matter how much it costs. doesn't matter any of that. If you like it and you're comfortable with it, that's all that matters. I mean, you can go out. I used to make mouth calls myself. I do want to get back into it, but I just never have the time with BCO to make calls. Uh, I used to make a bunch of them. I've killed a couple birds with a mouth call I made. It's pretty cool. But I just think the most important thing I'm with calling, it's not the brand or your, your price tag on it. It's knowing how and when to use it. And that mainly comes from learning to read birds. I think that's the most important thing you can do as a turkey hunter is one, study hens, call like a hen, don't call like a human. And if you don't know what that means, just watch some videos. You'll learn what I mean. Two, learn to read birds, learn to set up, and use wood. Wow, and use woodsmanship because a lot of times a bad setup with expert calling doesn't kill a bird, but a good setup with poor calling or decent calling, sounding wise, that knows how to call and how to read a bird will kill the bird. So a lot of people out there that sound awful that just hammer them. And it's because they pay attention to the details. Just focus on how to read birds. Focus on when you go to set up, don't rush. Take your time. Really think it through how, where he is coming to you, what could hang him up, what he wouldn't like, what he might not cross, all that stuff. Think it through. Take your time. There's no rush. Set up slow. Set up effective. Call smart. But, as always, drop your comments below. Let me know what you use, how you call, how you read birds, all that fun stuff. Do you like to call less, scratch more, all that? Let me know. It's just fun to talk turkey, and it's sad that it's getting to that point where it's almost over. But guys, as always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. I cannot wait to see what you put in the comments below, but that's what I use. Like I said, we all call with something different, but that is what I use. It's killed me a lot of birds. And uh, I just really like them. But guys, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Make sure you share. Subscribe if you haven't. I don't care really much about the sharing, but subscribe if you haven't. Check out the website down below. It's in the description. You'll have everything you could want from us. You could have our BCO Pattern Boys group, our Facebook page, our Instagram. Uh, we don't tweet, so we don't have Twitter. Well, I think we do, but I don't have, I don't use Twitter. Um Everything's down there, our Patreon link, our YouTube membership link, everything you could possibly want is in that website. With the BCO pattern and service coming soon, that's going to be how you contact us to get, you know, get the details on the service and get paid and get in because the first year is going to be very limited. So just going to be a test run, and I hope we get 15 people that send, send their setups, which... It's going to go quick. It's starting to fill up already, but I cannot officially launch it yet. Got a couple last things to do to make everything legal. Guys, as always, catch you on the next one.